Mic check, mic check, microphone check. Uh, suspect is getting fired. Adam22 is getting the paperwork done right now. Josh is finalizing it. t Rail is getting his contract ready to go ahead and offer to suspect after this clip. Yes, yes, MJTV, that's what I'm here for. Bold predictions. You came to the right place. No stuttering, no clickbaiting, no race baiting, no thighs that are just aggressively in your face. <laughs> Let's get to the clip, though, man. Suspect. Suspect did really good. I gave Suspect a shout-out for how he handled the damn homie, Sharp, and Brick Baby stuff. He did really good. His laughs, him picking up on the cues that damn homie has dirt on Sharp. Remember we said that, right? Now, damn homie has put the info out on Sharp. She says Sharp drink pee. She says Sharp owes 60K. No jumper world is crazy. We're going to cover it all up. But, um, yeah, Adam, Adam's, uh, it's, Sus is out of here. Sus is gone. Sus is going. Sus was like calling culture. I like to. I like this though. Like I said, I can't change it up from the beginning. Back when I was on Lush World show at the pop up, I've been saying unfiltered, unapologetic podcasting is something that I'm always down for. Suspects is stubborn. Y'all yeah. both, <laughs> <y'all> both <laughs> talking about two <laughs> different things. At the moment that you start arguing from authority and arguing that your opinion is better just because no, of your life experience, that, no, that's what you're saying right now. They said that and I you're, you're leaning on your life experience to say that, that you should either. automatically win the argument. I didn't say that. I didn't that's say what auto- you just no, said. Say automatically, but no, the moment that you try to discredit, like you know, how do you know more hip hop about me? How? No, but what you're doing right now, acting as if that's question. I'm talking. Stop talking while I'm talking. You're arguing now. I love Adam. Y'all know that. Y'all know I'm Glazer Glazer. My daddy can't even say that to me. Yeah, like not not no gangster, not no none of like Yo bro, you think I slept in my car for a nigga to talk to me crazy, bro? <laughs> hmm? Like, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, How opinion. Do you know why are you interrupting so much? I, I, I want to know the question. You didn't answer the question. I'm, you was done talking that no, I had to no, no. You You're asking why. I ain't going to lie to us. Sus. You, this goes to show you that you have a lot of potential in this space. For you to be infuriating the podfather of the West Coast, you have a lot of potential. Now, you I haven't seen the double cup as much. I haven't seen you slurried and in the couch as much. I love that. Focusing on the craft and develop. Don't become a T-Rail. Don't just think you put a few couches behind you and think that that's it. And refuse to get better at this craft. I love that. Whatever happens here, keep keep that though. Unfiltered, unapologetic. Keep that though. You know what I mean? That's going to go a long way. Oh, you're saying that Trust me, I know I had like 200 subscribers at a point and had some of the biggest YouTubers beefing with me and now we average the same amount of numbers, you know? Alhamdulillah. Can't count compared I, to yours. What I, said. I said the moment that you insinuated, like the, the, the moment that child was ready and you said like, oh, like suspect knows more than hip hop about me. Nigga, you came in hip hop in 32. I was born into hip hop. What are you talking about? I've been since I was a no, tiny I'm... child. Whoa, okay, sus. He said you came in hip hop in 92. I was born in hip hop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow clap. Slow clap. Okay, that's that's a bar. That's a bar. I'm not going to lie. That's a bar. <laughs> Adam, love you to death, bro, but that's a bar. Okay, sus. Bro, no, but this argument is no, you no, taking no. an L because you're arguing that I can't have an argument. I'm not saying you can't have an argument. No, but you're I'm arguing that my opinion, you but why is argument. my opinion less no, relevant than yours? That's not the kind of thing that people will, no, on a podcast, that's not what you do. You don't tell the other. Nah, 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 nah. I gotta cook too, Adam. I gotta cook. If you wanted me on No Jumper, you would have hired me by now. I don't know why I'm keeping a filter. Even though, much respect to you for giving me that platform. But, you know, it seems like you pick sides with Flock, so that's cool. But, anyways, <clears throat> he actually had some pretty dope, valid arguments. And, yeah, I'm Mr. 22 Ster. The nigga said you came to hip hop at a certain point in your life. Whereas,. The minute I came home out of the hospital, when Suspect came out of the hospital that he was born in, and he went into the home of his parents, hip-hop was playing at his home. So, that's a valid point. I'm going to give him that. You can't, and Adam just say, sitting there like, no, you can't say that in a podcast. And I think this is like um, professional gaslighting. 
why would he why can't he not say that like you don't have an argument he said he trying to make it like a straw man type of argument. The person that their opinion doesn't count because they're white or because they're old or whatever. Well, that's what you're saying. I didn't say and you're, you're lying because you just said I that I got into hip hop at 32. I didn't say count. You got into you got into talking to rappers at 32. Did you not? No. Yeah. Okay, then. Nigga, I was born into hip hop. Okay. What are you talking about? I was judging. I was I'm saying player. that if you go on a podcast and you argue, that's real. Damn, sus. I never thought I would be seeing this type of clip right here. Adam, call me. I can give you talking points. You know me. I get to cooking because this is not a good look. This is not a good look. Sus, I'm a real nigga. You, you doing your shit. <laughs> that your opinion matters more than the other person? No, that's more. what you're saying right now. I didn't say it matters more. No, that's literally what you just said. I, and the only reason I brought that up is because when that chat it. came up, you immediately insinuated like, oh, how does suspect no more? And I just told you how. You came into hip-hop at 32. I that's not true. You. You're lying. You I've been, been listening to hip-hop since I was a small child, been since been I was in elementary school. school. Been in it, just because you were hanging out with Lush at battles doesn't mean that... There's That's my Adam, right? That's the Adam I know right there. That's my boy right there. He said, look, just because you was with Lush World, bad, like, he's a slickster. And, and being in it are completely separate. Look, D-Dub, D-Dub caught that, too. Just because you were going what to live shows? No, no, not Because you're going, going to battles? I'm, ba I'm judging battles. I'm saying it's I'm judging suspect. battles at 12. Suspect. If you're going to have problems, why do I keep talking and then you start talking over me? I, you, you didn't let me Shouldn't answer. we let each other talk? No, but you keep saying the same thing over and over. You asked me how, and then I tried to answer, and you cut me off. I'm going to explain to you, like, a pretty simple concept in podcasting, which is if we're going to have an argument, you can't tell me that I can't have an opinion. You got it. You want? Why are you doing this little spoiled brat thing? You got it. You want? <laughs> you got it. You want? <laughs> Sorry, man. You want? Oh man, this is kind of sad. I'm not gonna lie, I don't. He, he, my boy, gosh. Um, I bet it is. It's sad that you feel like I the way you react in your body. Like I said, body language expert, MJTV here, graduate of Body Language University. Um, when do y'all ever see Adam do that? When do y'all ever see Adam grabbing his foot, nervously grabbing it? Listen, this is like when Joe Budden, when Ish is cooking Joe, Joe gets to doing this. Joe gets to doing this right here. When 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 Ish gets to cooking him, Joe gets to grabbing the mic like this and fidgeting. That's this is Adam's situation. Wow, MJ, you're so like, how do you know? I mean, I've been a fan of hip hop. Somebody's actually in hip hop. No, you're doing you're doing it again. You're doing it again. You're telling me I can't have an opinion on rap because I'm white. I didn't say you can't have an opinion. Where did white come into this? I said 32. I never said white. I said 32. So because I became successful interviewing rappers at 32, that undermines my opinion. That's not what I said. That is literally what you just got done. Putting words in my mouth. That's not what I said. The only words I'm putting in your mouth are the ones that you literally just said. No, 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 no. Repeat what I said. Not words in my mouth. Say exactly what I said. Quote me. Don't put your perception of what I said on it. Quote me. I'm just saying. Put your perception on it. You're putting this podcast will be very, very boring if every argument got broken down to. I have more authority in hip hop. If we want to talk about who has more authority in hip hop, who's listen? I can talk about my accolades in terms of what I've accomplished in hip hop. You might have been in it for a long time. I got the accolades. That's where it got personal. It is no longer a debate based on information. It is now personal. He said, "Look, you might have did this, but I got the accolades." Inferring that suspect doesn't have the accolades. Now I'm no hater. Adam Twenty Two's accolades blow suspects' accolades out the water, but the nigga is partially responsible for cultivating a sound in la hip-hop that's big it's not as big as what adam might have done in this space but that's very big i'm not saying him alone suspect um frosty blueface draco all of that you know what i mean that's big you can't just uh, shun over that I you get what I'm saying? Right now, y'all even arguing two different things. The whole thing started. No, but he's the one telling me now that I can't even have an opinion because I'm white and because I, I became successful in hip hop when I was. He 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 hit a nerve with Adam. He hit a nerve. He said, "Now I can't even speak because, according to us, I can't talk because I'm white and 30." I think that's what you're getting at. What are you about to eat? If I'm gonna get at something, I'm gonna say it. I, I, I'm not gonna insinuate a thing. It's fine. I'm, I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you, I'm challenging you to prove that you're not actually triggered and mad by like being able to have like a normal conversation about this. Damn, thing. Adam, you're triggered and mad though, Cuddy. Oh, my mama, like, you're low key triggered and mad, bro. Only reason I got mad is when the super chat read it and you were seeing what it like, you have more hip hop knowledge than me. Nigga, please. No, I just don't. Talking about the same, my issue here. with the super chat is my issue with what you're saying in general, too, which is that we shouldn't be having a conversation in which we tell more the more other perception. person that their opinion matters more less perception. because of their lived experience. More perception. Could I you imagine me and DW arguing perception. about rap and him saying, well, I'm from Long Beach, so your opinion more doesn't perception. matter? If That's retarded. Talking about some Long Beach shit, does your opinion not more matter? We're talking about hip hop in general. So we're talking about Long Beach? Don't say a word. How about good deed he said, well, don't, don't even speak, matter of fact. Understanding, he's born in Long Beach. Okay. He can talk to more Long Beach. No, if we're talking Long Beach, for sure that makes sense. You no, but what you're doing right now is exactly what I'm talking about. Bikes. I was born in hip hop. How can somebody whose whole culture, they, everything they live and breathe? This is an interesting way for you, you know to choose saying? to lose this argument. No, 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 no. I'm about to break it down for you. Do our culture don't live and breathe hip hop, yes or no? 
do it, not. That I'll doesn't make you right in this argument. No, I'm not saying Just because you've been hanging out at battles. I'm saying my opinion. You're talking about right. Let me get my opinion. What is hanging out at battles? Why does hanging out at battles make you a better officiator? I never said better. Can I get my opinion out? Why? But you were just hanging out at battles. Your perception. Hanging out at a battle and judging a battle is completely different. Okay. Judge the battle. What is the difference between listening to music and being obsessed with music and doing that, but then also sitting on a couch at a battle? Gang banging and being inside gang banging. What is he? What is he talking about? But being inside it doesn't make you an expert on it. Being inside gang banging don't make you more knowledgeable than a fan. Yeah, it does. No, for sure, for sure. Damn, Adam, I never thought I'd be going. Damn. <clears throat> he has a valid point, and I'm not even the biggest Sus fan. Like, y'all know I've been, you know, rooting for the nigga, taking on the nigga uh, ops and shit, Adam's ops and shit, whatever, bro. But this a bad look. That's a, he got a solid point, nigga. He, he is born in hip-hop. When he goes home, it's hip hop music playing. It's hip hop terminology. It's hip hop words. When he goes to auntie's house, uncle's house, it's hip hop. When Adam at his age, he wasn't. There wasn't hip hop at home. Even like me, like I, I raised myself in hip hop. Like I didn't come from a family that was playing R and B and late oldies and shit like that. Me as a child, I had to delve into like the G units and and work my way back and then understand it fully, right? But hip-hop wasn't at home for me i can get suspect when he says nigga hip-hop was at home it was dad working on the freestyles it was dad working on the battle raps it was us going to that's hip-hop in multiple different elements so he 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 got you adam i'm not gonna lie please still hire a nigga but he got you Who's a, hey, who's a bigger expert on gangs? A guy who like writes a book on gangs and like really like breaks it down, or Crit Mac? Who's really Crit only Mac, exposed Crit to Mac, one gang? Crit Mac no more Crit than the guy who wrote the book. I'm yeah. not saying me, yeah. but I'm saying like ah, at all. Oh, this so, hurts so, to you're see. Me, you're telling me nigga? that a random fucking dude who happens to be in a gang is more of an authority on gangs than a guy who studies it for his entire life. Now this is just like a a metaphor. No, I understand that. Like I get what you're trying to say, Adam. Adam's saying like. Can a gang expert or someone who's just in a gang, who do you think, who, a gang expert who studied this and written books, shouldn't he have more to say or know about hip hop than a gang member? He just used it and he just used the, um, the sample, not the sample, but the example of Crip Mac. Like if a Crip Mac and a gang expert were to speak on Crippin, who would know more? D-Dub said, nah, Crip Mac gonna know some more stuff that the gang expert might know because... As much as you might study and do your due diligence, you're not going to know the real intricacies and minutiae that go on within the organization. Not understand Adam. He's looking at it from a scientific approach, a methodical approach. But it's nothing like actually being in those trenches, quote unquote. I'm not going to say more authority. born in your hood, like, a nigga who wrote a book about your hood, more authority. Studied it? All I'm saying is, he studied it. Come on. Suspect, nobody what are we talking about? Suspect. Let, let me just make my point. About? Nobody wants to watch a podcast in which you proclaim that you have the only valid opinion <laughs> because of that. the that's fact that you used saying. to hang out with Lush at battles. That's what you're saying. No, that's, that's what you said. I never brought up Lush. Why do you keep saying things that denying that you send them? I quote me. Stop putting this has happened a lot of times in a row now. These two just need to argue more. Y'all save no jumper. Y'all two just got to argue more. I'm not going to lie. I know y'all be watching my shit because the next, y'all be using certain words and certain things and addressing certain things that I say. And I'll be watching all y'all little streams and all y'all little podcasts and stuff. Some of y'all be using the words I use. Some of y'all be using things that I know that I'm the only one who say. And then somehow, some way it be on y'all stream. So it's cool. I know it's not cool yet. And the big names and big wigs haven't, even though niggas with huge platforms be, I know. So if you're watching this, Adam. Y'all two got it. Even if it's fake, you niggas need to argue more. I like this. And don't fire the nigga if he gives you pushback. Because as a No Jumper baby, you know what's going on with No Jumper, all of the narratives and all of these stuff, whether they're true or not. To see something like this that you can tell ain't fake. You could tell niggas' veins is popping out their heads and shit. Frustrated Adam with the body language. This We like to see this. This is what we like. You're not quoting me. You're saying <laughs> no, I am. You're, you're, no, I'm directly quote. quoting you. No, 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 no. Well, like I said, once again, a nigga who was born in the culture knows more than a few. You're, you're doing it again. Oh, that's a fact, is it not? A nigga who was born in Long Beach. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And my response to that is that. My response to that is that. No, 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 no. Nobody wants to listen to a podcast where you talk about how you're the only one who gets to have a valid opinion. only one. Hold on, but his thing is, you saying, since he white, he I didn't say white. He said white. Why are you throwing rocks and hiding your hands? We all know what you're fucking saying. He's throwing rocks and hiding his hands. I'm not throwing rocks and hiding his hands. I can tell you why you went. Because you said the culture. You said the culture. Listen, let me. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let me just mention this lie. He's trying to say. But then he's going to say something, and then I'm going to repeat it back to him, and then he's going to tell me that he never said it. about one mic. And I'm trying to get my opinion now, but I'm. Because you keep saying the same thing. Listen, I'm about to say something completely different if you shut the fuck up. Listen. 
He's talking about white, right? If I call Lush, Lush is way more knowledgeable about hip hop than him because Lush has actually been in it for 30 years. Oh, that's wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. For him to have the, the debacle with, with Lush and to even, that's dope. That's dope. And Adam's really, this, this why you should have hired me, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, that's why you should have hired me, nigga. And I probably, I would have knocked off a band less than what they asking for. What they getting three, four, give me this, nigga. It's cool. You know what I mean? But hey, it's all good. You know, a lot got a plan. Yeah, I'm not talking uh, about he's, white. He's so, saying that you like being in it. I told him that he should have been arguing that his opinion is the only one that it matters because of his life experience. But now he's saying the same thing about Lush. No, listen. He's putting Lush as a standard for himself. My argument is that our no, arguments, white. Our just arguments should be able to stand on their own. You, you have no argument here. You, because he, he's in it more. you gave up on having an argument, and now you're arguing that you're the only one who gets to have an argument. He said white. He's saying he's not saying it because you're white. He's saying he's saying Lush been in hip hop for real for a long time. I know because he got he realizes that's kind of tacky to just talk about himself. So now he's sucking Lush. He's sucking Lush in my head. Now you're trying to tell me what I realize in my head. More perception. Breaking down what you're doing right now because it's so transparent. Quote me, nigga. It's so transparent. You tried to say that I said you don't know shit because you came in this as a white man in 32. That's not what I said. I never said white. And I gave you an example of a white man who's actually been in it who knows more than you. That's why I said white. You said white. Let's know. You notice that not once in this argument have I flexed my accolades? You just said white. Which is that. like that's what you want to do. Suspect. Here's the question. D Dub said, sounds like that's what you want to do. So you might. I like that. Who has created the most successful like podcast rap. on the West Coast in the rap. history of the internet? I do this. I do care about this. That's do different. That. Look right. at the move of the so, goalpost. Now you don't rap. Let me give an example. Who is the most successful person in the media example. space on the West Coast of the last 10 years? Let me give an example. No, it's Let me give an example. Let me give an example. No, I want you to answer me. Who's the most successful person building the media platform on the West Coast? No, we're you. No, stop. Stop. One mic. 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 How is the spectator more knowledgeable about the person who's actually involved in it? One mic. How? One single mic. It doesn't make sense. Individual mic. <laughs> this mic. is amazing. How is the spectator <laughs> no, suspect. more knowledgeable than the person inside it? Okay, you done? Suspect. How is Street TV more knowledgeable than a crip his whole life? Because he's been spectating. Ooh, that's... Shit for a long time. That don't make you more knowledgeable than a nigga who was born in it. That's insane. How? That's suspect. How is that insane? A nigga who's... The guy who's... A Street TV is a little different. That was a bad example, sus. That was a bad, bad example. Very bad example. This nigga's like a lawyer. This nigga's have been, been dealing with cases. Alex Alonzo knows a lot more than the average person, so... That's a bad, bad, bad analogy. So we'll skip through that. The gay expert who gets hired by the oh, government to look at Adam's dog. Adam's dog just makes these clips perfect. Them on gang activities and trials is more so knowledgeable you than more just a random you. dude. So he can tell you more about the insane than you, a nigga who been spectating and, and no, but the, he can tell more about the. Look, like you got the the of the culture. No, he can't. Yes, no, he can't. He can't tell you more about insane than the spectator. How? So the guy who studied it for his entire life. They're talking life. about two different things. Talk about two different things. That's what that's I'm trying to problem, tell you. But, but he doesn't want to talk about what I'm talking about because he knows it's over. Okay, buddy. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. His whole argument is that, that I don't get to have I've an argument. I've been saying that, bro. I love this. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. That's dope. The nigga drinking water, bro. Potting. That's dope. This is good, nigga. This is really good. This is what happens when you... Look, Brick, you kick the cup. Stop the drugs. Really focusing on the craft. Who knows how, you know what I mean? You gonna be a problem for a lot of podcasters too. You're not on mic. <laughs> no, but I mean you can get on mic, but you're not on mic. All right, we got P nice in the building. Shut up, P nice. Shut you. How you doing? Y'all both. Y'all both. Y'all both saying some Mom. real shit. Nah. So a person like you were saying, Adam, a person that studying this shit, mm -hmm. they would know a lot. Probably a lot more than a person that's been actually banking this shit. Mm -hmm. he watches because he's studying it. Because the average dude from your hood, they probably ask him. They probably ask you, getting all the information that they need. But as far as experience, right. I go with you. You feel me? A nigga don't got experience on a nigga who study. You feel me? But it's, like, is, it's like a football coach. We're talking about the average gang member, and my argument is that the average <laughs> dude from your hood does not know a lot about what's going on outside of his immediate know, area. That's what makes us sure. That's what makes us. If you're a gang banger in Long Beach, you have absolutely no reason to know what the fuck is going on in the valley. Who cares? Some of them might know. It's very rare. You say you cover cover the world on it. Type right. Super chat read that that Adam can't have this argument with us, and you said how he knows more about rapping. You you start making a personal attack, and I said, whoa, 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 whoa. No, my, but that's not a personal attack. That's just me saying I have every right to so have an opinion on the shit, no, just like you. That's not what you said. No, that that's is the point I was getting at. Now you're right, trying to play victim. Point, that's what you've been doing to me the whole time. A point in perception. <laughs> Do y'all get what I'm trying to say? A point in perception. I ain't gonna lie. These is two narcissistic, manipulative. You know they manipulative because one of them is in an industry of manipulation. Well, both of. Both of them are. They equal. That's why this is a great clip. That's why it has 123 views, 20,000 views in a day. Because these is two wicked niggas. If you in that field where you pushing P and all that, it's all cool. Like, it's, I'm not here to judge. You feel me? I'm not a great Muslim, so I can't. I'm not a law. I can't judge nobody. You feel me? I still sin every day. I'm going to sin later tonight. Right? But if you're in that whole pushing P stuff, that's wicked. You know what I mean? That's wicked. That's a wicked way of life. 
I'm not here to judge, but you know that's wicked. The whole sex and all that porno stuff, niggas can argue that that's wicked too. So that's why this clip is because these niggas is both wicked, both narcissists, both sick with it. You feel me? So. If y'all think nobody gets y'all good, no, 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 no. I'm definitely We got exactly what both of y'all saying the whole time ago. A nigga who watching your culture can't tell you more about when you're in it. You just can't. Yo, All right, we'll pause it right here. What do you guys think about this clip, man? Are you guys rocking with Sus? Are you guys rocking with Adam Twenty Two? Um, was well, the whole argument? I don't. Um, Sus has a good point. He was born in hip hop. When he left his hospital and he was home, hip hop was at home. Hip hop was waiting at his front door. Adam-22 was also one of the most successful people in hip-hop on the West Coast in the last 10 years. So, what do y'all think about all of this, though? But I just, this, ah, uh, man. Very good, very good. I like it, though. I like it, though.